the makeup of Tokyo Baptist Church are people who love the Lord. And when a disaster like this hits, uh, we have almost immediately begun to say, what can we do to affect Tokyo? And what can we do to affect Japan? We knew that uh, the need was great after getting the reports. The need was great to help with basic essentials. <laughs> So we sent a team up immediately, and since March 11, we've had at least two teams a week go up, primarily for the purpose of, of preparing hot meals and serving to uh, two to 3,000 people in a select neighborhood of one of the hard-hit areas that the tsunami completely wiped the city out. Apparently, um, in many um, houses, water's, water is back, um, power is back. Um, however, the aftershock two days ago has um, stopped water in some area. So some people were really um, happy that they can find water here. And so we made the um, team to helping people in Tohoku area and after the March 11th. And, uh, we are collecting the supplies and then collecting food and we're serving the food to uh, last time 3,000 people and this time uh, it's really quick uh, food is going because they're bringing their own pot, big pot, so we're giving them the food, <laughs> hot food. After the first trip we, we realized that, that there's great need here and um, people need more things, uh, more help, that's why we, we wanted to develop a relationship with them so that hopefully in the future not just the material needs maybe we can help them emotionally spiritually and this is why we try to um, stay in the same location as much as possible oh yeah they were telling me how their houses were destroyed they lost their loved ones and i told them but there is hope despite of everything but even of what despite of what had happened there is a god who loves them and his name is jesus christ and that um, God used us to come here in order to help them and to provide for their needs. So we'll be here every week. Um, this is like a long-term um, process. We will come here every week and to give out some reliefs and, uh, of course, um, comfort them in these times. Yeah. yeah, I would like to share a scripture that I think is, uh, is, is not the only scripture, but it's a, it's, you might say it's a driving force for us doing what we're doing, and it's a favorite scripture of mine. It's from 1 John chapter 3. It's uh, verse 18. Dear children, uh, let us not love with words or tongue, but let us love with actions and truth. And uh, I would use uh, this scripture to say it is by love that we are compelled to do what we're doing. Thank you.